Hello everyone, I'm Al and this is Glitch Space, an indie game being developed in Scotland by Space Budgie. Now the game is a first person programming game and it's centered around visual programming mechanics. It's all about problem solving, finding glitches in cyberspace as you continue your adventure. Now the game is going to be developed for Windows, Mac and Linux and surprisingly it's being developed entirely to take advantage of the Oculus Rift. Now this doesn't mean that you need the Oculus Rift, it just means that it is going to be supported and it's going to be pretty damn cool if you have it. Now this is an alpha, so nothing's finalized. Everything is subject to change and probably will change before the game is final. But let's see what it's like, shall we? But because it's an alpha, there isn't really much here. There's no sandbox mode yet and there's only story mode and quit. But the game runs the Unity engine, so when you launch it, you get the graphical settings right at the beginning. And it's got that standard set where it's good, best and fantastic with your graphical resolution. Now, as you can see, it's a pretty clean little interface. <laughs> Standard Unity avatar, which is a pretty weird looking thing if you've ever seen it from you know, an outside camera. And it's fairly clear. Move WAC, fairly standard. And I've got a weird type of gun thing here. And you can see there's a glitch right here. Hmm. Jump. This space bar. Alright, I know that. I have to say, the music, this clean environment really suits it, it's rather calming and relaxing, which could be perfect for a puzzle game, especially one that's based on programming principles and mechanics. And I have to say though, I am not the best programmer, I did really badly at that in college. Not my best forte, which is why I did systems and IT management and management accounting. <laughs> so edit, right click, okay, alright so scale object, none. And it seems there's something I can connect. Objects, main object. Alright, so I have a main object, a cube. Alright, let's attach that there, I guess. Oh! Can I get rid of that? So it's attached to that now, and it's flattened out the surface. And if I take it away, does it fix it? Oops. Oh no, it's still there. Very strange. So you can actually... Ah, oh, that's a really cool animation. Oh, here's something behind me. Level zero. Okay. And this is level one. So the red is the things I can influence. Can I influence these? No, they seem to have to be glitching. So level one, let's go through this glitch portal here. Ah. Okay. So I need to modify these. Ooh. What is that? What's that sound? Something fancy seems to be happening, but I can't see what it is. I wonder if that's further in, because I can see there's a level up there as well. So it seems to be one mass progressive world with gaps in between. So can I run and jump this? I can. Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh, I'm back here! Alrighty. Hmm. Main object scales and vectors, and I have numbers here. And select two, attach it air and vector after that. So that should elongate it. It did a tiny bit. Okay, that should be enough to jump across. All right. All right. So that one's all the way down there, and I need to get there. I certainly can't jump that distance. Hmm. So ten should multiply it all the way up. Yep. Very cool. Oh, I love the little menu the way it stays there. Until it just oh, that is fantastic. Oh, it's glitching out still. All right. So vector add scale. So I need a vector. Attach that there. Let's get some numbers. Whoops. Oh, a little trash bin. All right. Hmm. Two. Five. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Detach. Detach. There was a bit of a mistake. I just want to elongate it and widen it. No! Ah, I did it again. Alright, that... Hmm, maybe that's just not me doing it. Okay. 
and zero because I don't want it to. No, silly thing. Okay, let's move these out further so I don't accidentally disconnect them again. Let's try a one. There we go. It's a bit thicker. Should be easier to jump onto. Yep. Yep. All right. Cool. Oh, then my little menu disappeared. Ah, this one seems stable enough. Oh. What? Okay. That. <laughs> oh, okay. That didn't work out at all. All right. Let's try and get back there. Have to be careful with these jumps. Oh. I can't. Can I edit this one at all? Physics, please. Enable collisions. I want to be able to. There we go. Because I want to be able to actually touch that. Logic. True Boolean. There we go. I've just made it a solid object. Yep. Perfect. There's one down there as well. Interesting. Okay. And we need to get all the way up top. Okay, so I'm on this. Scalar multiply. Multi mu multiply by 10. So it goes all the way up. No. It's all... Ah. Interesting. What, what, why is it all bouncy? What? A, hmm. Alright, no. No, no, no. Mathematics. We want to multiply these. Because it makes it bouncy. It doesn't make it bouncy enough. Okay. We'll add in a 10. And a 5. That should be plenty. I hope. Multiply by 50 for scale. Ah! Oh, okay. And now I need to make it a 10 by 10. So we'll trash that number and a 10 again. That should make it bouncy enough for me. So bloody cool. Whoa, yep, that's more than bouncy enough. Okay, so we're in level three. A lot of red stuff here. Which way do I go? Ah, wait. Uh, did I just... I just went back to where I came, did I? Very strange. Very strange. Oh, yeah, I just accidentally went the wrong way. Okay, so let's multiply. Five, we want to extend that. There we go. Oh, very interesting. Oh, oh, run, 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 jump. Oh, wowie. So can I get on this? Oh, so it goes by wave factor, so I want to go up. Okay. Oh, bugger me. What did I just... Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, mechanics. All right, I did, I did that completely wrong way. Forward, no, I don't want to forward, I want up. There we go. There we go, so now it's gonna have an up motion for me. This is so cool. And up I go. Very cool indeed. So now this one, I want a forward motion. Scalar multiply mathematics add. Oh no. Ah, I made a mistake. What did I? I can't. These are all locked. I can attach something there. Can't really attach that to anything, can I? No. This, this is odd. Yeah, I want to add, but. Hmm. That's not the right connection. I can't attach the cube to an add multiply. Oh. Ah, silly me. 
There we go. Oh, very interesting. Okay. Now, I want to add, no, no, I want to add the 10 to move me forward, please. I need another 10 to add me more forward. There we go. This is a fantastic game. It really eases you into real nice and easily. And the music is fantastic. It really fits the art style. I really like it. It's extremely clean and simple. Ah, oh, no. These I need to make solid because you can see right through them. All right, so. Boolean true collision platform logic. Oops, I want to make them false. Disable collision. False. I want to disable the collision. There we go. There we go. They should be solid now. Yes, they are indeed. And I want to do the same here. Oh. Interesting. So I'm going to have to do this myself. Collision platform. Boolean. True. Oops. There you go. Oh no, wrong one. Bugger me. Just did it the right way, the other way. There's something I need to do with the platform. Collision. Physics. Um. So the machine, yeah, I've got the machine making solids, but the platforms aren't yet. Enable collision, please. And logic ways, I want to make those true. Let me just move these out of the way so it's easier to maintain. Logic, true. There we go. I can see. Oh! And I. Oh, goodness me. And I completely missed the jump somehow. Whoop. Sit easy. Wow. I really love the music. Space budgies. My goodness. And there we go. Thanks for playing Alpha 1.0. I had a lovely folks there have made an Alpha client for my Mac. Just for me, it seems, on the email. That was fantastic. Ooh, there's the funky music. I just want to say thanks a lot, chaps. Oh, look, there's me. I'm the red QB thing. I look like a weird Lego guy. <laughs> this game is absolutely... Well, it's absolutely fantastic. It's really hard to describe. It really, really makes you think about things, but it's an easy way. It progresses you really simply. It gives you small little things to do, add on, figure out what's going on and then it just gives you one part and say well do the entire system construct that part use logic and physics i think this game would be really good for children especially to get them slowly into the concepts of everything it is fantastic i hope you guys enjoyed watching that don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video remember all the relevant links are going to be in the description if you want to see what this game is like click the description i've got the links directly to the developer website for you so you can have a look yourself and you can follow their progress I'm Al, thanks for watching, and bye bye ah, Snap. Nope.